Let's write a C program to find sum of all the odd numbers until a limit set by the user. Well, an odd number is an integer that is not exactly divisible by 2. Some numbers like 2 modulo division 2 yields a reminder of 0, so number 2 is an even number. Whereas numbers like 3, 3 modulo division 2 doesn't yield a reminder of 0, so number 3 is odd number. In this program, we ask the user to enter a number. If user enters 5, we we find all the odd numbers from 1 to 5, add it and output the result onto the console window. In this case, the result is 9. So let's get started. I'll take a couple of variables, num count for while loop, I'll assign a value of 1 and a, a value of 0 to sum. I'll ask the user to enter an integer value and store it inside the address of variable num. Okay, let's start with a while loop. While this count is less than or equal to user entered number. So this while loop keeps iterating until count value is less than or equal to num. For each iteration of this while loop, we increment the value of count by one. So now the condition, if this count modulo division two is equal to zero, See the variable count for each iteration count value will be different until it's equal to the user entered number. So in this case we are checking for odd number. So we need to check if count modulo division 2 is not equal to 0. So sum is equal to previous value of sum plus the value present inside the count. So count will have odd numbers, all the odd numbers until the limit entered by the user. So once we are out of this while loop, we print the value of sum, which has sum of all the odd numbers until the user entered value from one to user entered value. So let me check, let me give five, the result should be nine. One plus three plus five should be nine. So let's check that. Yeah, it's working. Let me execute it one more time. So I have calculated it, the all sum of all the odd numbers from 1 to 20 is 100 and it's working. That's great. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Please share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.